Hello engineers, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn how to build a responsive navbar using vanilla JavaScript, HTML and CSS. So what is a responsive navbar? This is a responsive navbar. As you can see on bigger screens, you see all the links on the top, which are completely visible. But when the screen size is smaller, what you see is a burger icon, which when clicked opens up all these links, right? This is a responsive design. So why do we need a responsive navbar? The reason is it's really hard to fit all these links in a smaller device, right? That's why we need a responsive navbar. So let's go ahead and build one, right? I'll close this. I have my Xcode opened up right here with empty index.html, style.css, and script.js. So let's start with HTML. Okay, I'll just do exclamation so that it pre-fills everything for us. And for title, we will just do navigation. And let's just uh, load this so that we can see what's happening. Uh, this is Safari. I'll just copy the link, close Safari, and put it in Google Chrome. And nothing there, but we can see navigation on top. Next, uh, let's add our script files and style.css. So let's start with style.css. And next, I'll add my script tag. And this will have source of script.js and with D for tag. And inside body, uh, we will create a nav element with class of navigation and hit enter. Inside that, we will have a div with class of logo and here I'll just say hello right now. And next we will have another div tag with class of links. Here we will put all our links and inside that we will have UL with list item with anchor tag and anchor tag will go nowhere. And I'll just do home right here. Let's copy this three more times and change this to service and go here and change this guy over here to about and this will be contact. Okay. So for now, we are done with the HTML part. Now let's switch, uh, let's go to style.css. And here we will start with star and this is going to be margin of zero, my bad, zero and padding of zero. And we will have box sizing of border box and save it. And you can see it worked. Uh, next, we will change font family to let's do sans serif and just save it. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, next we will add some styling to our navigation bar. So right here, I'll do display of flex. So flex and save it, and you can see it uh, it put everything in a row. Let's uh, let's do justify content of uh, space between, and it will put them further apart and we will do a line item center so that it puts them in center vertically. So I'll just do center. Next we will change background color. So background color is going to be golden rod, save it. And next we will change color to white so that our logo changes. Our logo is just a text, but it's still white. Next, uh, let's just add some styling to our logo. Uh, basically, we will just increase the font size to 25 pixels and add some margin around of 10 pixels and just save it. Okay, awesome. It's working perfectly fine. Next, we will uh, make this guys, this links in a row because we don't want them to be horizontal, at least for now. So links UL and this is going to be of display flex and just save it. Okay, perfect. Next, we will do links and this time we will target list items and we will start with list style of none and that's it next we need to target a a tags and this guys will have text decoration of none so that uh, we don't see underlines we will change their color to white and add some padding of let's add padding of 20 pixels Next, uh, let me show you one thing. So what happens is, uh, let's do links. And when you hover over list items, so I'll just do hover. And okay, uh, we will add background color of, let's do dark gray and just hit enter. And when I hover over them, you do see background, 
but it doesn't look pretty good. We want it to occupy the whole space, right? So a good way to is, a good way to do this will be display of block, adding this style inside our A tag. And when you save it, you can see this. Looking pretty amazing, right? Great design. Awesome. For uh, a, a desktop screen, this looks just perfectly fine, right? A good working navigation bar. But when, when you try to decrease the size, not, uh, it's not possible to fit everything on the screen. That's why we need a burger menu. So let's go ahead and add a burger to our index.html. Okay, I'll go here and after our logo, we will add an A tag, which will go nowhere. And this will have a class of, let's just call it burger. And inside A tag, we will have span with class of bar. So this is going to be those lines, right? The burger line. And that's why we need three. So make sure you add three, three uh, spans, right? These are going to be those lines. Okay, now let's go back to style.css and we'll add some styling to our burger. So I'll just do burger right here. And this guy over here will have position ops of absolute. Let's add display first. So display of uh, flex and hit save. Let's also add styling to our bar and bar will have styling of, so let's start with height of three pixels, width of 100%, 100% and we will have background color of white and we will have border radius of 10 pixels and just save it. We still don't see anything because we still need to add this stuff. So this will have, let's add width first. So width is going to be 30 pixels. Height is going to be 10 pixels and save. We still don't see anything because we need to position it and we'll do top, uh, let's do top 10 pixels, save it. And we will have right 10 pixels, just save it. And now we can see it, right? Uh, you can see this three lines right there. So we will change flex direction. This is going to be column and save it. And we still see it. We need to add some spaces, right? So flex direction will be column and we will have justify content and we will say space between, save it. And we see some space right there. But the problem is height needs to be 20 right here and if we save this we can see right it, it it gets more height so next let's work on the responsiveness so what I'll do is I'll change this to none so that we don't see it on bigger screens and let's go down here and here we will add a media query so media and this will be max width so width of 600 pixels and we will open this up and here we'll do burger and we'll make this display flex and I'll just save it. Let's try to uh, get to a smaller screen. So as you can see right now screen is decreasing and perfectly at 600 we see the icon, right? Okay, uh, let's keep it this way so that we can see what's happening. Next we will do navigation. This is going to be flex direction of column and I'll just save it. Don't mind the train, right? It, I, I know it, it. we just live right here, close to the tracks, so can't help. Uh, align items will be fake flex start, and I'll just save it. As you can see, it, it just snuck there, right? Next, we will target the links. So I'll just do dot links and links. And for links, we will display none. For now, let's just do none, right? We will use this later on so uh, right now just uh, comment it out so that we can see stuff and width is going to be 100 percent just save it next we will target dot links and this is going to be our unordered list this will have flex direction of column and width of 100 percent and text align of center and just save it and you can see this right and when you hover you still see the dark gray color Okay, awesome, awesome. And the only thing we need to add is, so we need to add active tag right here, and this will be display flex. 
So I'll just save it and change this to none. So for now, right now you won't see it. We need to add JavaScript stuff, which will make it see us, right? So that we can see the menu. Let's start with, uh, let's call it burger. And this is in our JavaScript file. We'll just say document dot query selector and we will select our burger and we will also select our links so we'll just say document dot query selector and this is going to be links okay and now we will add event listener to burger and we'll just say burger dot add event listener and this is going to be click we will have a function right here for now we can just lock console lock stuff up let's just do hello so that we know it works and okay it does work so our javascript is loading just fine and here we will just do links dot so okay uh, we need to do links dot class list dot toggle and this is going to be active class that's it okay now when i click here we can see the menu pop open right amazing so on full screen we see our complete menu as you can see it right here and when you decrease the screen size like exactly after 600 you see this a burger icon with burger menu awesome okay uh if you have any questions post them in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time